1080 is used aerially in Australia for wild dog control. There is growing concern about the effect 1080 is having on the native dingo and other non-target species. The business of 1080 baiting is so secretive. You know, we're unable to find out where the next drops are going to happen. All we know is every year this time when the dingo puppies are about, the farmer wants taxpayers to, to make it possible for the farmer to go out to the local shop, which he can now do, and buy this awful product, 1080. Dogs, dingoes and foxes are highly sensitive to 1080, far more so than other animals. So it doesn't take very much poison at all to poison any of those animals. Because they're so sensitive, dogs, dingoes and foxes can be poisoned directly by baits that are put out with the intention of poisoning. But they can also be poisoned by secondary poisoning, where a dog or a dingo or a fox eats the carcass of another animal that was poisoned by 1080. In Western Australia, 3.7 million hectares of our national parks and reserves are baited from Esperance to Kalbarri and Karratha. The dead carcasses remain on the landscape. No one buries these animals. And secondary poisoning amongst birds and animals in our wildlife die from this poison. A paper that was written in Australia in the 1980s calculated that there were 39 native Australian animals that were at risk of poisoning from the pig baits that were used in Australia. It's the taxpayer who funds all this. Would the public be happy to know that the money, millions of dollars, is spent on absolutely annihilating the only thing out there that's stopping these foxes and, and feral animals? <laughs> On behalf of the Perth Mint, I'd like to present you with this one tenth ounce fine gold uh, 2008 uh, dingo coin. It's part of a collection of some of the fantastic animals that we have here in Australia, and uh, it's made of, of four nines gold. Gotcha. I'd like to thank the Mint very much for acknowledging the WA Association as well as the dingo and producing this dingo coin. I hope it highlights the um, importance of the dingo in our ecosystem and brings awareness and creates interest and curiosity with the public. A study that was done in Australia in the 1980s looked at dog baiting in southeastern New South Wales and it found that very few of the baits that were put out for wild dogs were actually taken by the target species wild dogs. In fact when fresh red meat baits were put out and weren't buried, 45% of them were taken by birds. But even when the baits were dyed green to make them unpalatable to birds, less than 10% were taken by dogs. And it's also true that less than 10% of the plain meat baits were taken by dogs. There's some main points that are very, very important for saving the dingo from extinction. One of them is giving it protection. It's the only Australian wildlife that has no protection. It has to be listed as an endangered species Correct classification on the title of Canis lupus dingo has to be given, so there's no disparity between the states around Australia. And concern for the aerial baiting of 1080 in national parks and reserves right across the country. Once the signs of poisoning start, they become hyperactive and run and snap and bite. They lose control of their bowels and their bladder. They experience twitching of their muscles, often facial muscles. Then the spasms of the muscles become more severe and they develop very strong spasms of muscles in their legs and tail that make all of their limbs and tail very stiff. Dogs might die during fitting, but often there are repeated fits with periods where they recover in between. There's a two hour period of symptoms before they die. you can kill over two and a half thousand 25 kilogram dogs with the amount of 1080 uh, that uh, is usually put on a hectare. Two and a half thousand dogs. 1080 is not a humane poison and despite people's claims that it is humane, we now recognise that that's not the case. It's not good enough to pretend to ourselves that it's humane and keep on doing the same old thing that we've been doing for years. There's no excuse to keep on using a poison that is not humane and that we know is not humane.